Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share my Google Analytics 4 backlinks report template built in Looker Studio. And this is a unique template. I never seen it before. And I guess that after trying that, you'll be able to, you won't be use GA for native interface for backlinks research anymore. Yeah, because it's very easy, it gives you much more insights and it's absolutely free. So, how to use the template? At first, yeah, let's start with the, some basic things. So, when you will open the template, you will find that uh, the borders are like... You don't see the entire content here. Yeah? So, the first step you should do is uh, make less uh, screen size, yeah? A screen scale uh, because I needed to create the wider uh, uh, page uh, template just because uh, in a few pages I need to display pi pivot tables and we need more space to get more insights. So this is the first step. Uh, then you will find the custom dimension here, page refer types. I can show you how it works because uh, this is a custom formula, yeah. It's not the default dimension which you can find in the uh, J4 dimensions. So uh, let me show you the formula of this thing. Uh, why we need this formula? Just because uh, by default, uh, page refer dimension contains both internal links and external links. So it's hard to analyze the impact of uh, external uh, backlinks just because uh, you see the user, user's clicks by uh, inside the website and from the external website, yeah. So we use this formula that help uh, to exclude the internal URLs. So I ch just check and use only external referrals. So now I see only the external referrals yeah, on this website. And the other problem that to the page refer, Google add all types of backlinks, not just uh, um, like um, uh, other websites from the like blogs, uh, media and so on, but also like social media and it also can make the, the problem for you, it can be the problem. So you go to the filters I created here and you can uh, edit them, yeah? Like uh, I exclude like junk websites here, yeah? You also can, can add the few exceptions to this filter or create the own filter like exclude social media and you will be able to leave only the websites you would like to check here. Like without LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, YouTube and so on. Uh, then the third important option that you can manage chart variables here. Yeah, uh, on the charts by default we see the sessions metric, but then you can the first one you can add uh, choose another metrics like users, key events, conversion rate, and so on, and then you can also change the period for which you research the data yeah so by default you see the month is here you can go down and use the data by weeks and then you can go and uh, click and view data by days yeah so it's in a few clicks you get much more insights then mm, so it's it's how to use it yeah Let's discuss right now the most typical use cases. Uh, the first one is the monitoring real traffic from backlinks. And uh, it's so unique just because you can do that in Ahrefs or SimRush, which track the backlinks, but they don't show the real traffic with them. Yeah. So for example, uh, I have a backlink from the me I have a backlink from site checker 
and I, uh, in Ahrefs I see that I see when it was created at first but then I don't know how much traffic I get from that landed page how the user behavior is yeah uh, you see that in this case I have good enough uh, session duration and it means that this is very relevant backlink and how many conversions the users from these backlinks brings to me so that's why it's so important to use GA4 to use your backlinks uh, uh, to backlinks analysis not just a traps this is the first use case uh, then looking for some backlinks that you never find even a traps so there are exist such backlinks that usually created in the uh, added to their website that are close from from the uh, anybody except some uh, people from the, some company for example I have the backlink from the Jira Walmart yeah so somebody from Walmart Walmart team added the link to my website to the Jira workspace the internal closed from public uh, Jira space and I can see that in this report and I've never seen that in each ref so SimRush because they don't crawl the uh, closed workspaces yeah this is the second use case uh, then here I can measure the traffic performance for the parasite SEO campaigns so this parasite SEO we see we have the problem Usually we can track the rankings by LinkedIn or Medium or Reddit on any uh, on any tools that exist on the market. Yeah, because you can't uh, add the LinkedIn and add keywords because it's hard to uh, divide your article there and other people's articles. It's not your website. Yeah, but using this template, you can quickly check how many visitors visit your website from the landing pages you published on Medium, on Reddit, on LinkedIn and so on. Yeah, so it's very easy and it's free. Then you can recognize new backlink leaders by traffic using the performance map. And the same you can find the backlinks that you lost or Maybe you don't you didn't lost uh, the backlink, but you didn't lose the backlink, but somebody changed the order of backlinks, and you start lose losing the traffic from this page. So in this case, we need to go to the performance map by months, and here you see because we use conditional formatting, it's very easy for your eyes to recognize the new backlink leaders and the last backlinks or, or last traffic from backlinks yeah from what I can see right now based on my this template so interesting that in July somebody added the backlink to my website on Trello wow I need to investigate it deeply yeah it was just uh, also like some workspace in Trello it was some blog or what is what I need to dive in deeper then my parasite SEO campaign on Medium, Medium specifically the landing page about Google Analytics 4, start generating new visitors. Wow, it's great. Yeah, then, uh, okay, something happen happening with interesting happens with uh, my also parasite SEO campaign on Medium about Google Ads Looker Studio report. Yeah. In some months it works better, in others it has lower results. Then, 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 let's try another. I can try another website. Mm -hmm. Here I, I have um, very few visitors from other website, other websites, but I also can detect some interesting 
results here yeah so this is the, like the performance map and you can see that in here by, by months and the another page to see that by weeks yeah sometimes you need you need to dive deeper into the smaller periods yeah so that's all you will find the link to the template below the description and if you need like more Looker Studio templates, just click on this button and you'll get it.